And the one day that I wear jeans. Yeah. Y'all. Yeah, step out. Part one. I'll go get you a bandage. Just give me a second, okay? All right. Echo me. Get your cup of wisdom. Say, we will. We will. Learn. Learn. To decompose. To decompose. The number eight. The number eight. Using. Using. Pictures. Number sentences. Number sentences. All right. Drink from the cup of wisdom. Okay, thank you. Miss Marshall, could you please meet them over there on the computer? Okay, y'all. <laughs> I know, right? All right. So, we're going to be working with the number eight. Okay? Eight. The number eight. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Eight. <laughs> eight. Do it one more time. Working with the number eight. We also do a number form, but we're not gonna do it right now. Eight is in the number box. Eight is the whole one. Thank you. I didn't have to ask. Very well, Malachi. Okay, oh, Jermaine. Jermaine, eight is the whole number. So what we want to do? We're gonna decompose. This number eight train by the number one. Right. So if I want to decompose this eight train by the number one, I will simply take one away because that's what it means to decompose me to take away. So if I take one away, then we'll have seven. Let's count. One, two, three. No, uh, uh, pause. Don't ever do that again. We touch and count. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I took one. I decomposed the number eight by one. That left me with what number? Seven. Seven is a fourth number. Okay. So the only thing that we're missing is the other part number, which would be one. And how do you <laughs> the other part number would be one. So I'm gonna write that in my part. <coughs> so I wanna do I want this number bond to say eight take away one is seven. So how would I take one away? What would I do, Dante? Make an X. What would I do? Make an X where? Number one. On the number one? So what does that X represent? If I do this, what does this mean? No one. No one. So I took the one away, right? Right. So now that I have this number bond that tells me eight, eight. take away one, seven. I wonder if I can write a number sentence. Yeah. Huh? So how would I do that? I would do eight. 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 What is the sign for takeaway? Huh. What is the sign for takeaway, Stella? Minus. A minus sign. So eight takeaway. Yes, Cassie. Seven. Seven. Okay. Eight takeaway seven equals one. one. Is this right? Yeah. 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 Well, that, look at it. Is this is our number six correct? Yeah. Yes. Yes. 
Jim 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 not right. Which one? Read it. What is this? Oh, minus. I'm sorry, because what does this mean? This means plus. Plus. Who was saying that? This sign means plus. So, Ethan, can you tell me if we have... Hold on, I don't think they can. Can they see this clearly? Yes, yeah, they can see it. So, mm -hmm. Ethan, is this the plus sign or minus sign? Minus sign. This is, is, this a, is this a plus sign or minus sign? One. No, say, say, say. A uh -huh. plus but, no. seven. Uh-huh. Equal. Thank uh -huh. you. There you go, equal. Equal. So I think it's because One. your finger was under the okay. sign in your So marker. Ethan, what is this what is this sign that I circled with the balloon? What's that sign? Eight? No. Nothing. Plus. Plus. Okay, plus. is it supposed to be a plus or a minus? Hold on, little man. What is it supposed to be? You just said it. Miss Marshall, kids, you're going to designate my equity stick. No. Yeah. Equity stick. What's that supposed to be? It's, uh, <laughs> it's not a Miss Marshall. It's a trap. Okay. Subtract. Okay. So Ethan is actually correct. Thank you. Ethan is correct. It is supposed to be a subtraction sign. But what I want to hear us say is that's supposed to be. Pause. Can you meet him, please? Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be a minus sign. So subtract is actually correct. Everybody say good job. Good job, good job Ethan. Good job. Subtract is correct. But the term that I want us to use is take away. Because that's what we're learning. And we're learning the term of minus. Right? right. So I'm going to change this so that it can read correctly. Because it was reading incorrectly. And Jermaine was easily to tell me. That was me. No, no. It was both of y'all. <laughs> so, Ethan, let's read it again. Let's read this sentence again, Ethan. Okay. A. The track. Seven. Ethan. One. Good job. Eight minus eight minus seven equals one. Is that correct? Yeah. Is that what our number bond says? Yeah. No. No. What does our number bond read? Eight, eight minus seven. Pause. Say it again. Eight take away what number? One. Uh-huh. Equals? Seven. But our number since it says eight take away seven equals one. Is that correct? No. 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 So let's change it. Oh. Number bond is our whole number is eight take away one. Our part number equals seven is our other part number. So we had eight blocks. We took one away, and we were left means equal with the number seven. seven. Echo me, sit up, Santiago. Echo me, eight. 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 Take away eight. One, one equals seven. Trinity. Come on. You gotta yeah, knock that out, Miss Marshall, please. All right. So I wanna I wanna make a story. I wanna tell a story, and I'm gonna tell a story to match this whole this number bond along with this number what? sentence. So we just read a story about North America today. I mean, South America today, right? Yeah. And can anybody tell me what and what amazing animal did we read about? Can you go to the bathroom? Yes. Llama. Okay, who said it? Brody. Thank you, Brody. We read about a llama. So let's tell a story about a llama. And we also read about the Native Americans. 
the two little boys that were hunters in the rainforest, in the Amazon rainforest. So let's tell a story. So once upon a time, there were two Native American hunters. One name was John. Go ahead. The other name was Jack. So John and Jack were hunters. So they were in the Amazon rainforest. And they saw these little things. What do you think these animals are going to do? They saw. But they saw how many llamas did they see? Three. Three. Four. What is that whole number? Eight. Eight. Okay. How many? Eight. How many? Eight. 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 They want to see eight llamas because eight is our whole number. Eight is our whole number. So when John and yeah. Jack were walking through the Amazon rainforest <laughs> in their native clothing, because they were hunters, and they came upon eight llamas. So they ran around. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get, we gotta get these llamas. And guess what happened? Guess what? One llama. Guess what he did? He left. I'm out. That llama said, I'm out of here. Goodbye. What? So how many? Seven. Seven. How many llamas were they left with? Seven. Seven. One, two, two three, four, five, six, seven. Oh! Just like our number bond. So, how many llamas did they see all together? They saw eight llamas. How many llamas ran away? One. Seven. Trinity, pause. Trinity, how many llamas ran away? One. One llama ran away. So Trinity, where, where would I put that number one for the llama that ran away on our number bond? Um, we put the um, um, llama that ran away um, right near, right here. She pointed here. Mm -hmm. Okay, because what number is the one? It's the what number? Are you are you trying to see? Okay. Trying to see. Take the number. In the number bond, we have a whole, and we have what numbers? Hi. Thank you, Trinity. Good job. So we had a whole is eight, and one of our part numbers is one, and our other part number is what, Trinity? How many? How many llamas? Good job. Seven. Very right? good. So tell me this, Trinity. How many llamas ran away? One. One llama ran away. So we're gonna take that one away from the number eight. How would I take that one away, Trinity? You cross it out. Cross it out. Ma, ma. E. How many were left, Trinity? Seven. Seven. Good job. So Trinity, I, what I want us to do, I want us to write the number sentence to read, to read this number bond. So what is the whole number? The whole number is eight. Okay, so I'm gonna write our whole number first, eight. What's next, what else happened? Nine Remember Are you sure? Are we doing eight minus seven? Yes. Did seven llamas run away? No. One. So what would it be? Eight minus one. Uh huh. All right, good job, Trinity. So we have eight minus one equals seven. If you agree with Trinity, say, I agree. I agree. 
I agree. I between one and eight. So we, let me write. So our first, our first sentence that we did already was eight minus one equals seven. That's our golden sentence. Meaning that can be touched. So we cannot redo that. We cannot use the numbers one or seven again. So, that one's not here. Trent, give me a number between one and eight. It's Trent there. Mm -hmm. Seven? No, we already used seven. Let's do another one, babe. Um, five. Okay, Trent gave us the number five. Okay, so Trent gave us the number five. I'm trying to do our, our five group. Okay, so Trent gave us the number five. So now guess what? We're gonna put all five of the we're gonna put all eight of the llamas in here. And Trent gave us five. So now this time the story is gonna tell us that they caught five. So eight is our whole number, right? Right. So let's just put that up there. Because we already know that. <laughs> so y'all already knew that. We already knew it. We already knew that. So we now are. we're gonna have eight llamas again. What? Y'all don't judge me. I'm not an art teacher. I'm just I'm I'm a kindergarten teacher, okay? Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Trent gave us the number five. So five is a what number? Yes, good job, Stella. Five will be our part number. Because he provided us with a number already. So that lets us know that Jack and John caught five llamas. So how would I how would I show that on our five group um, chart? Kerrigan. 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 Unmute yourself. There you go. Oh. All right, Kerrigan, how would I show that five llamas were taken away? Um. What would I do? Carson, come here, baby. She can't see me. Yeah. I want to get her. I want to get her involved. Come on, Kaboom. What did you say, Kerrigan? So Kerrigan again, this is what this is what you're telling me that you're not paying attention. That's what you're telling me right now. I want to know how can we tell that the number five, five llamas were taken away from these eight group. I'm gonna go with Brody. Brody, what method would we use? to show that five llamas were taken away. What would we do on this screen? I mean, on this board? Seven. What would we do? Come over here, baby. What would Carson do to show us on the board that five llamas were taken away? That five llamas ran away? Oh, 
Okay, Cassie, what would Carson do? Jermaine? Okay. We will exit them out. We were taken away either in our five group or even in a story. We want to X them out. When we had the, the eight llamas lined up here, I, I X one out because that's the one that ran away. So if we're taking away, taking apart a decomposer, we want to X that number out. So Carson, Frank gave us a number five in a part. So that lets us know that five of the llamas ran away. Jermaine told us the method to exit out. So could you exit out five llamas? Yeah. Any ones that you want to exit out is fine. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Thank you. Everybody clap it up for Carson. Very good. Carson, I almost forgot. I got to do an interview. Come back, come back, come back. So, Miss um, Phillips, you exited out five llamas. Can you tell me why did you do that? Okay, because Jermaine told her to exit them out. Thank you. Let's get Jermaine up here for a little help. Jermaine, could you explain to me why did you tell Carson to exit out those five llamas? Come in the spotlight. Speaking to the mic. Speaking to the mic, Caroline. Why did why did they get acted out? Because five llamas ran away. Thank you. Because five llamas ran away, and we had to show that on our five group. Pound it up. Pound it up. Thank you. May have a seat. So let's have Dante complete. I really should get your. Uh, all right, here, this is this. I should have some dead on marker. We can wipe them down. I can wipe them down. Mm -hmm. So, Dante, Mrs. Stevenson, Carson exited out five of the llamas. How many llamas are remaining? Yeah. There are three remind, re, There are three llamas remaining. Could, could you show me that on our number bond? Where would you put the number three? Okay. Why did you put the number three there? Because there's no space for the other. Oh, is that the right explanation? Because he said there's no space. Three is a what number? Uh, Say it loud. Uh, a part number. So you were in here when we first first taught this. We have, if, even if you look on our charts, we have whole number here, and these are the parts. So a part number. Is one of the two numbers that can make up the whole number, okay, baby? Okay. So the three that were remaining were the uh, was the other part number, okay? okay. Clap it up. Thank you very much. Let me have a seat. Let's have Malachi. I want you to write the number sentence. Come on, I'm gonna let you use my marker. Come on in the room. Come on, you can use your marker. That's fine, baby. Let's watch what time is. 1102. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm, I, I, oh, wait, 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 I almost forgot one thing. I don't want to get you confused. So these llamas were taken away, or they ran away, so I'm going to exit that out because that was the number that was taken away. So on your own, do you think that you can do this? Do you think you're smarter than a fifth grader? Can you write this number sentence, this whole number part, number? Okay, go ahead. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay. He's doing. Wait, 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 wait. I want you to write the number sentence. Not. I don't want you to write this um, number bond. I want you to write a number sentence. You have to read that. that <laughs> Using these numbers in this number bond. Okay. Okay, let's see. Ah. Uh, Pause. Do we have the number one in our number sentence in our number bonds here? So what numbers do we have? Eight and three. And what else? Five. What Five. Which number was taken away? 
on this number bar, which number is taken away? Yes. So you should write that after this takeaway sign, after the minus sign. What number is taken away? Five. What number is taken away up here? How many is taken away up here? Five. So what should the number be taken away on your number sentence? Five. Yes. Just take your time. Yeah. Good job. All right, almost there, almost there. Okay. So we're reading five, take, I mean, eight, take away five. What's next? What's that, the next sign you should write? What sign? Not the sign, not the number. What is that sign called? Good job. Eight. <laughs> Take away five equals. Very well. Good job, Malachi. Everybody clapping up for Malachi. Say, you are so smart. You are so smart. Really quickly, I want to show you. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to take away how many? How many should I take away? How many should I take away? Five. How many are left? Larry? Three. Larry, I'm going to decompose by five. How many are left? All right, good job. Everybody clap it up to Malachi. Are right, you going to have a seat? Larry. 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 I keep muting you for a reason, sweetheart. Stay muted unless Miss Saunders or Miss Marshall calls you. Yes. Okay, here we go. Our other golden number sentence is eight take away five equals three. Now what you're going to do, you're going to pull out your writing journals. Take out your writing journals. Take out your writing journals. Those at home, please take out your notebooks. Those who are at home, please take out your notebooks. Is that your writing journal, Christopher? Christopher. Which one is your writing journal? Yes, sir. Yes. C. Turn to the very next clean page. The date. Five. Yes, sir. Yes. Remember. Yes, and remember we talked about this last week, just finding the page. Five slash one eight. You said what? Slash two one. May 18th, 2021. Those who are at home, do we have do we have our notebooks out? I can't put y'all to see. All right, thank you for letting me know. Who else is writing? I heard one person let me know. So what's going to happen when I call your name? Listen to me carefully. When I call your name, I want you to complete the number sentence. Not the number sentence. I want you to complete your number bond. So... This is your number bond. I want you to find, I want you to find two numbers that can, that can be decomposed by the number eight. You are not to use one, seven, 
seven and one, five, three, three or five. When I call your name, it's Ethan, Jaden, Callie, Trinity. No, Trinity can be the other one. I'm just gonna keep it there. Trent, Tyler, Christopher. Time right now. What time is it? 11 or 9. Okay. We're going to pause here. Miss Marshall just gave me the signal. We're going to finish this when we get back. What we're going to do is we're going to pause. The date. The date is 11 and 9. Five, 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 because I did, then we did, now I want you to do. After lunch, we're going to continue our lesson for math. Yes. yes, sir. When we come back from lunch, we're going to break off in groups. And you're going to complete the lesson, uh, a part of the lesson on your own, independently. So what we're going to do is pause here and prepare ourselves for lunch. Put your books away. We're going to get our lunch song going. And we're going to revisit this when we come back from lunch. Yes, Santiago. I just want to get this last one. Yeah, I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. You should have already written your date. Yep. Okay. We go with that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to call two different groups. I'm going to give two different instructions. When you hear your name, Dante, you should not be writing. I have not instructed you to do anything. No one should have a number bond completely written in their book. I have not instructed you to do that. If you have an empty number bond in your book, that's fine. But you should not have anything filled out, any numbers. What we're going to do is we're going to break off into two groups. You're in class, so I can't, I cannot sit you all together because of COVID. But when you hear your name in a certain group, that's the group that you're in. Following those instructions are what you are going to do. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. So, um, Christopher, Santiago, Carson, and... Yes, that's it. So that's okay. Yes. Christopher, Santiago, and Carson, please write this number bond, an empty number bond in your book. Good job, Christopher. Can you see it, Carson? You are to write an empty number bond in your book. Okay, just one. Can you see that? Okay. Once you have written that, let me know that you're done. Santiago, please write this empty number bond in your book. You done? Okay. Find a page of paper. What I want you to do, um, Cassie, be quiet. What I want you to do. Right here. Make a, a number bond. A number bond. You know how to do that. Draw the, if you just drew, draw the circle up here. Yes, the number bond, like that. Yes. Draw the number See. Bond. Okay. I'm going to give you the whole number. We already know the whole number is what? Carson, what is the whole number? What is the whole number? No, ma'am. Yes. The whole number is eight, so where would you put that, Carson? At the, At the top. So what we're going to do for those that are in Carson, Christopher, and Santiago, I'm going to give you the whole number, which is eight. What I want you to do is find the missing two part numbers. I will not give you that. And you cannot use one, seven, 
713-671-3553. You have to find two different part numbers that will equal up to the number eight. Do you understand? Yeah. Or that the number eight can be decomposed by. So those who are Carson, Santiago, and Christopher, write your number eight as the whole number, but you have to find two different part numbers that can be um, decomposed by the whole number. Is that understood? All right. Stella, Jermaine, Dante, Cassie, and Malachi, your instructions are this. I am going to give you the whole number as well. You are to find, listen, you are to find two part numbers, but the part numbers cannot be 1771, 533, and 5. You cannot have these numbers as a part number, okay? You have to find different part numbers. You have to find it. You have to figure it out. Pull out your Lincoln cubes. If you need your Lincoln cubes to so get eight in a row and decompose it and see what two numbers you get. Then, listen up. I want you to fill out a number sentence. Eight minus whatever number you come up with for your part number equals the second part number. Do you understand? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Let's go one more time. I'll give you your whole number. You are going to find two separate part numbers that can be decomposed by eight. Once you fill out those part numbers below, you're going to write them in your number sentence. You understand? Yes. Yeah. And label it, please. I can't set the timer. I will give you a timer set for seven minutes. Tell me you can't hear them. Are they back on? You can't hear them. Yeah. Yeah. Trinity. And so she is talking to the students in the building. Yes. Right now she's talking to the students inside of the building. So Trinity, she'll call your name in a minute, okay? But we're trying to fix the fix it so that you can see her. We're trying to fix it right now, okay? So just be very patient. Thank you for being patient. And thank you, Trent, for helping. Okay, yes, because the computer has shut down. How many of them are back in the... It's just Brody and Trent. She just... Trinity just logged, logged off. You can tell Brody, Brody and Trent that they can be done for the day. So no art? Or um, because it's... I it's can give it to them. I don't mind giving it to them. You can, you, can you explain to them what they were to do? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So Trent and Brody, can you guys hear me? Thumbs up. Brody is frozen. Thumbs up if you can hear me. You cannot use these numbers. You cannot use these numbers. You cannot use five and three, three and five. You cannot use these numbers. If you give me a number bond with these numbers in there, it's going to be wrong. That's why I'm telling you to take out your Lincoln cubes, decompose them. You cannot have these numbers in it. I'm sorry, Miss Marshall. That's fine. I need a timer. It did it again. Okay, so that's the thing. We can't. Yeah. That, put the, can yeah. you put a time on for me? Yeah. And shut that whole Zoom class down because um, that's crazy. those who are in Mrs. Lynch class, relax and we'll be doing um, art in a few. Christopher. How many minutes? Five now. Where are your Lincoln cubes? Where are your cubes? Look in your basket. You should make a tower of eight. You are decomposing them. Whatever numbers you get, as long as it's not five and three, one and seven, you can use those numbers. I want to see who can independently do this. Dante, what should you be doing? Pardon me? What should you be doing? So 
So then why are you turning around looking at me playing with your Lincoln cubes? I will be selecting one person per group to share out so that we can move along. This has been drawn out. Remember Dante, you want to, Dante, you want to stack your cubes up. You want to decompose them. You want to decompose them. What does decompose mean? Want to take it apart, Dante? Okay, so so where do we? You want to decompose them to find the two parts. Come here, Stella. Come here, Stella. You raising your hand? Let me see. Let me see your work. Okay, good job. Are your fours written correctly? Okay, go ahead and correct it. Yes, yes. Now you need to decompose them. Take it apart. One person is one person from the second group is done. Jermaine, did you take your 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 liquor keys apart? That's incorrect. We only had one in seven. You can't use that number. Break it, decompose it again. Okay. Now, fill out your number bond and your sentence. And you should be labeling this diagram. And you already gave me a number. You just thought of the number. You say, Dante, stack those, stack it up. Stack your number, stack your keys back together, please. Dante, I said stack them together and you taking it apart. So put this down. Okay, stay from all up. Good. Now I want you to decompose. That means to take them apart. Take them one, take them apart so there's only two of them. Not individual. Break it apart. Okay. Yes. Break it apart. Right there, that's enough. So what numbers do you have? Count them again, Dante. Six, right? Six. Okay. What do you have there? Write it. Now, you have to fill out a number sentence. Write your number sentence. You have to fill it in. What takes away? What, did, what was taken away? What is the what is the number that you took away from eight? Look on your book. I mean, look on your book. Yes, good. So fill this in. So fill it in. Write it on your paper. Uh, Dante on the same page. On the same page. Good. Make your number sentence and fill it in. Christopher, don't lose your page. Did you lose your page? Boy. Christopher. Christopher did it. He lost his page, though. So. You I hope you I don't see it. Write it, Jermaine. What are you looking for? Write it. Write it. Write those two. What are those numbers you have? Right on in your number box. That's the 
We're going to wrap it up. Very well done, Shay. Okay. All right, pause, wine. Pause, wine. Pause, wine. Okay, get him as much place. Please go, Mr. Yang. Please go, Mr. Yang. I just want to get them through this lesson. This is every day I'm teaching, I'm telling you. All right. I am going to select one person per group and it looks like it looks like we had some this thing's not even going okay we're going to go with Christopher come here what are the two numbers that you filled out? What are your two numbers that you found? Come here. Where's your... Here. Come on. Hey, Ms. Brown, we're finishing up our math lesson, so... Okay, thank you. All right, Christopher. What are the two numbers that you that you wrote? Um, two. What are those two numbers? Two. How did you get these numbers? It's correct, but how did he get this? He did it by himself? Mm -hmm. I didn't come over here with Christopher. This number is four. Mm -hmm. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Four. Uh, four. Write it. Where would you write the part numbers? On this number bond, where would you write the part numbers, Christopher? Mm -hmm. This is your number bond. Just how you did it on your book, you put it the same thing on the board. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Very good. Do the other side, baby. Very well. Okay. Everybody say good job, Christopher. Good job, Christopher. Hey, sweetie. Good job. Carson, did you get the same numbers as Christopher? Did you get four and four? Four and four, are those your numbers? Or did you find other numbers? Other numbers. Okay. She found other numbers? Mm -hmm. Carson, tell me yours. That's what I did. Mm -hmm. Santiago came up with two and six as well. Very well. So, can, Carson, can you explain to me how did you get your two and six? I did it with my one two. Okay. Did you decompose? Yes. Okay, so you decomposed the number eight, and the two numbers you came up with was two and six? Yes. Very well. Good job. Everybody clap it up. Christopher came up with four and four. Everybody clap it up. Very good. So because these, this is what they come up with, I'm going to write their number sentence. They did what I asked them to do. Um, and I'm going to write their number sentence. Very well. Good job, group one. All right. Someone from group two, would you like to come up? Is Cassie writing Miss Marshall? Yes. Does she, does she label as well? Um, They're supposed to fill out the number bomb, write the sentence, and label. She hasn't done the um, sentence or label. All right, come on. I need somebody that did all okay. three. You have to do, look. Your son is giving you three, three directives. You have to do the number bomb, then you have to write that sentence, and then you have to label your number bomb. You don't know how to do what? Label your oh. number. What is the okay. number eight? You have a what? What else did you have to do? The what number. Can you reach that? Mm -hmm. okay. What number is it? Eight. Okay. So what part of eight is in that number bond? That number bond is three parts. Right? So and what was the other thing you had to do? Hold.
labeled the part is a part. So what is this? What is eight? Eight is the what number? No, sweetheart. When you have a number on, you have a whole number, a part number, and a part number. What is this number? What is eight? Is eight the whole number, or the part number, or a part? Which one? Okay, so that's when Ms. Saunders asking you to label telling you to tell her what this is. Okay. Then once you've done that, Bella, I want you to read the number it um, by and, writing and explain code. how you guys if you do don't know how to spell it, then it, that's a tricky word, so just put W. But we've been writing whole for a very long time. Okay, good job. Look, so, okay. um, you what, can you identify your, can you identify the parts of your number yeah. bond? You guys have uh -huh. She's very well. Over. Can you read your number sentence? Eight uh -huh. minus four, four equals four. Very well. How did you get four. your two part numbers? I thought of an idea. You thought of them? Okay. Did you use Did you use your number um Did you use your linking cues or you just thought of them? I just thought of them. Okay. Very well. Good job. Everybody, clap it up. Thank you. You're welcome. Come here. Cause you had the same thing, and I want you to explain how did you get your numbers. First, read this number sentence. Okay. Four. Four. Six one. Yes. Six one. Four. Four. Minus. What? Oh, you have this way. Eight is the beginning of the You have all eight numbers. Eight. 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 Four, four, what? Equals. How did you get your cars? What did you do to get them? You did it with your Lincoln cues. How did you get them? You had eight, and what did you do to get your four? How? What did you do? I stacked them up together. Okay. What did it start? And then four. you stacked them up together to get eight. Then what did you do to get the four? It's a word that I'm looking for. I stacked them up you have and to get the four. How? Word. Oh, because it's in my language. What did you? What's the word? What did you do? Thank you, everybody. <laughs> you decompose your stack of eight, and you got. Four. Wonderful. Thanks. Clap it up. Jermaine will knock me out. All right. With that being said, you all did an excellent job. Clap it up for yourself. I'm really proud of you, Santiago. You did a... Okay, so can somebody tell me what did we do in class today? Malachi, what did we do in class today? Okay, good. We worked on our number bonds and numbers. Stella, you want to add? Okay. You want to add, Santiago? Okay. Carson? Excuse me, sir. Speak up, Carson! Yes. Oh, thank you, baby. Okay, we were able to decompose the number eight using Lincoln cubes and number sentences along with our number bonds. Miss Brown, they're all yours. Yes, yes.